developer uses Git repository to store their application code, which provides them version control, easy remote collaboration, and most importantly, single source of truth for their applications. What if developers can use the same Git repository to store their application deployment configuration, which could be auto-deployed to Kubernetes with the desired state and stay consistent throughout its life? Hi guys, my name is Karan Singh, Senior Principal Architect and Developer Evangelist at Red Hat. And in this episode of Definition Shorts, I will explain to you what is GitOps and how to get started with Red Hat OpenShift GitOps. Let's get started. GitOps is the way for achieving continuous delivery of applications and infrastructure operations. In GitOps, everything is treated as code, which means the desired state of infrastructure, application, and configurations is defined declaratively as code. This includes how infrastructure look like, how application should be deployed, and how it should be configured across environments. In GitOps, Git repository is a single source of truth. The state of infrastructure and applications are stored in Git version control, and provisioning or deployments are performed through familiar Git workflows. In Kubernetes, GitOps-based continuous delivery for applications could be implemented using Argo CD, which is an open source project backed by CNCF. Argo CD automatically syncs configurations from Git repositories and apply them to Kubernetes clusters and closely monitors the deployed application resources. In case of configuration drifts, Argo CD can automatically reconcile the changes. In case of configuration drifts, Argo CD can automatically reconcile the changes. This immensely helps the ops teams to keep the application configuration consistent. Red Hat OpenShift GitOps is an OpenShift add-on which uses Argo CD to implement GitOps workflows for continuous delivery of applications. OpenShift GitOps is available as an operator in the Operator Hub and can be installed in just one click. Once installed, Users can deploy Argo CD instances using Kubernetes custom resource definitions. Let us now see this in action. To install Red Hat OpenShift GitOps, log into OpenShift Web Console using your administrative account and navigate to Operators Operator Hub and here search for OpenShift GitOps. Click on the Red Hat OpenShift GitOps operator and hit install. You can choose the default settings for now and click install and wait for the operator to complete installation. Once the operator is installed, the next step is to give service account of Argo CD ability to manage the cluster. For this, we need to log into OC CLI, navigate to the user, click on copy login command and grab the token to log in to OC. Once logged in is successful, run the command to give service account access to manage this cluster. OC ADM policy, add cluster role to user, cluster admin, and OpenShift GitOps Argo CD application controller. And finally, log in to Argo CD console. To do this, we first need to grab the password of Argo CD web console. Run the following command to get the password. Copy the password. Go to OpenShift Web Console. Click on the icon on the top and click Cluster Argo CD. The default username is admin and the password is the one that we have copied from the last step. All right, so we have now logged in into OpenShift Argo CD web console. At this point, your OpenShift cluster is now ready to deploy applications using Argo CD. That's all in this episode of Definition Shorts. In the next episode, we will deploy a sample application on OpenShift cluster using OpenShift GitOps. Until then, for more details on Argo CD, I recommend you checking Getting GitOps ebook brought to you by Red Hat Developers Team. This ebook covers 
all the details about CICD and everything in between. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.